Hi guys, it's Ewan at Willow again here. After my video last week, I got a bunch of emails and messages from people asking how to create their own Willow interview. So I thought this would be really simple just to take four minutes out of my day and create a very quick interview process from start to finish. So it's a three-step process to create an interview in Willow. And we're gonna jump straight in and see how it's done now. So I click on interview and then I click on create interview inside my Willow account. And then you'll see here it's a three-step process as I mentioned. So we set up the initial interview steps, we create the questions, which is obviously the fun part, and then we preview and publish the interview for everyone to complete. So we just pop in a title here. So we'll just call it astronaut. Let's hire an astronaut and we'll try and find the best one we can. So we'll pop in Virgin Galactic Space Company and let's create a quick video intro. Now a video intro is the introduction at the very start of your interview. So it was that video that we spoke about last week that gives the person a reason to complete the interview. It gives a bit of context and it makes them feel more like a two-way process and puts them at ease. So we'll just record a quick intro. So we get a quick countdown like this. Hi, it's Ewan at Virgin Galactic. We're very excited to have you here. Thank you for clicking on the link and completing our interview. This is the first step of our astronaut selection program. Please answer these three questions and it'll help us to get you get to know you a little bit better. When you're ready, just click on the button below to start. Okay, that will then save in the Willow Cloud. And we can also just pop in some details here. So thanks for interest. So we click on next. And now we're on to the fun part, the questions. So we can choose, let's have three questions for this one. We can choose whether they are file or video answers. So people can actually answer questions on Willow with a file upload. So perhaps you want them to upload a portfolio or you want them to upload a visa. They can easily do that. You just choose file upload like that and then ask your question and that person then drags and drops their file. But for the astronaut application, let's just ask them all video questions. We want to get to know these astronauts before we send them off to space. So we'll just pop in our questions. Now you'll see there's a question generator as well. So we actually suge suggest questions using an algorithm um, for um, questions that may be suitable for your interview. And it learns over time as well. Okay, so we've put in our three questions. Now I'm just going to show you something else. It's a bit of a trick. You can actually change the amount of time the person has to answer these questions just by clicking on that little clock there. So we could make this, for example, three minutes because it's a long question. We want a long answer. And then this, this question here at the end about what was the last book they read um, for fun. We might want them to expand a bit and open up on that. So we might just set that one to two minutes. We can also set the amount of times the person has to retake their answer. So in this case, it could be, we only want them to retake that one a maximum of three times, put them under a bit of pressure and stop, it, stop them from, from waffling on too long. Um, so we've got our three questions. When we're happy with those, we click on next. The interview is now complete and all that's left to do is publish it. So the interview is now published and we have here a link in front of us. It's a short link. And this link is the link that you're going to send out to people in an email, in a, in a WhatsApp, in a Slack message, however you want to communicate with that person. When they click on that link, they'll be able to complete your interview. I'm going to pop this link in the comments below. Go ahead and try the interview yourself and you'll see how easy it is to complete. Any questions, please just ask.